Hello guys, welcome back to Kodemi. My name is Shri Bhagwat, and today we are going to start with our next video of our Dart and DSA course. In our today's video, we will be learning about our Dart language. So this will be an introduction to Dart. First, we are going to learn about Dart, what kind of programming language it is, and once you understand how Dart works, then we will shift on to DSA, data structure and algorithm. So without taking much time. So let's get started. So as you can see, uh, Dart is a client optimized language for fast apps on any platform. Dart is supported by Google and is also a free and open source language. Dart language is used to build Flutter application, which is a cross platform framework. Dart is optimized for UI, productive development and fast on all platforms we will study them okay so what does optimized for ui means with dart language you can create uis very fast and very nicely so keeping ui in mind the language has been optimized productive development dart enables to help develop applications faster there are some features like hot reload which helps in developing the application faster and reducing the time taken to develop application in Dart. And it runs fast on all the platforms. As we have learned before that Dart is used to build cross platform application. So it should compile with all the platforms like uh, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS. And luckily Dart runs faster on all the platforms. Here you can see with Dart and Flutter, what all platform applications can we build? We can build applications for Android, Mac OS, web, as well as Windows. Okay, so this is a true cross platform language. So now how Dart works. So basically, whatever code we write, we write that in Dart language. And we use Flutter SDK to create cross platform application. So there are two processes that takes place. First, is the compilation process. In the compilation process, the Dart code is converted or let's say compiled into the respective platform that we need. For example, for Android, we need an APK. For uh, for Apple, we need an IPA. And for uh, Windows, we need an EXE or executable file. And for web, we need HTML or JavaScript file. So what happens is our Dart code is converted or let's say compiled to the platform specific code that we will be needing. And then that is executed into that platform. So there are two processes. One is compilation, other is execution. Once the compilation is done, it goes ahead with the execution. So the IPA is executed and an iOS application or a macOS application is developed and APK is executed and a Android application is developed and exe is executed and a windows app is developed and for js or let's say for web the dart code is compiled into js html and then that is executed into our browser and a web app is run now what kind of language dart is so basically dart is a statically typed language now what is statically typed language Statically typed language as I've explained in the previous video or if not, please uh, check about there would be the link to my previous video where I've explained the difference about programming languages and how we are classifying the programming languages uh, statically uh, static statically typed language and dynamically typed language. Okay. So watch that video that will clear your concept. What is a statically typed language? But for now, in a statically typed language, the variables or the type of the variables are already defined. For example, if I want to create a variable of type int, I have to define the type variable before. I just cannot write a is equal to 10. I have to define int a is equal to 10. Now that is a statically typed language. It is a safer code. So there is no issue in compilation. Okay. The data types are checked at the 
compile time not at the run time as in the dynamic typed language it is object oriented now what is object oriented object is the most important part in our dart language and code plus data is called as object so even this language is an object oriented you might have heard some other object oriented languages kind of uh, java uh, c++ python kotlin these are object oriented languages c style syntax the syntax means whatever the code that we are writing okay the code that we write is called as the syntax now the syntax of dart is c styled for example it is almost similar to java and uh, javascript or kotlin so it is following that syntax c style syntax so if you are coming from a uh, android background or from java background it is more easier for you to learn the language let us see what dart or google have to say about dart language so to learn more about dart you can come to dart.dev okay here you will find everything about the dart language as you can see paint your ui to life with dart's vm instant hot reload when we will go ahead we will learn what is hot reload and other cases so you can see dart is a client optimized language for fast apps on any platform why because with flutter we are creating applications on multiple platforms and dart is helping us to do that very swiftly optimized for ui mature and complete a sync await for user interfaces containing event driven code paired with isolate based concurrency now i know this is very difficult right now just focus that dart is a good language and we should learn it okay and when we will start learning dart then i will slowly slowly make sure to clear the terminologies used over here for example async await and all the terminology all the terminologies that we have used i will slowly slowly make sure to clear them or to teach you what they mean okay uh productive development as i've mentioned before that we are using hot reload to see the changes instantly on the screen there is also profiling logging and debugging of our code with the editor that we use you can see this it is a dynamically typed language over here okay because we cannot assign an integer value or we cannot assign a string value to a variable int over here they have created a variable temperature 25 they have given an integer value and then they have tried to give a string to the integer variable and it is not taking it because it is a statically typed language now aot fast and all platforms now what happens is our dart language has two kinds of compilation one is j i t j i t or just in time compilation which is fast in development process and slow in execution process so it helps us to create our development when we debug when our application is in debug mode it helps us to speed up our development process and when we release our application the just in time compilation is switched to aot ahead of time compilation now what is ahead of time compilation ahead of time compilation is faster in execution the application but it is slower in compilation of the code so when so dart is the only language which uses both jit and aot now aot helps us in executing the application faster and giving us fast result to the user and jit helps the developers to create the application faster and to uh, to speed up the development process you can learn more about aot and jit okay now without taking much time let us first start understanding where we will be doing this dart or where we will be learning dart now now there is a cool website called as dartpad again developed by dart itself we can practice whatever we are learning about dart over here okay so before starting let us first take a quick introduction of dart pad now what is a dart pad it is kind of a playground where we can play with the language the result or see what we are doing so you don't have to install anything in your uh, machine you can just directly come to the browser and type dartpad.dev and it will give you this option over here and you can try completely what you want okay 
So this over here, you can see at the left side where we have void main written. Okay. This is our editor. This is where we will be writing our code. Okay. This is where we will be practicing our Dart language or what I will be teaching you. Over here, you can see console. So whatever output we get from this editor is shown on this console. So if I want to print something, I will write the code over here and that result would be printed in this console. And over here, you can see documentation. So whatever we are writing, okay, we will find the documentation over here. So if you want to study or if you want to read something, you can just find the documentation of the code that we have written over here. Okay. On top, we have a nav bar where it is showing the dart pad. We can also create a new pad. If I click over here, it will give me an option to create do if I want a dart or a flutter pad, but we will strictly be sticking to the dart pad over here. Okay. Then we can reset our code. When if I click reset, everything will go back to normal. We can change the format or if our code, uh, it's kind of beautify this format and then install SDK. We don't want to install any SDK right now. So let me just uh, close this or let me just hit back. Okay. Let me just uh, zoom normal over here. You can, uh, yeah. Over here, you can see it is showing us what Dart version we are running and what Flutter version we are. So this is updated to the latest Flutter version 2.10.3 and the latest Dart version that is 2.16.1. Okay. Whatever version you will be running that time, just use it. Let us get a normal glimpse of Dart language. Let me just zoom my browser a bit so that you will get a proper view over here. Now, void main is a function which is the entry point of our code. So you have to write void main right now. If I'll remove everything to and you can see compiling to error compiling to JavaScript, compiling with sound nail safety and no main method found. You can see the error over here. Error no main method found. Now we're going to uh, give our a compiler a main method over here. So I will just write void main like this. Okay. And if I'll hit run now, the console should be blank. Why? Because there is nothing written over here. It is completely blank. This is our void main. Okay. Now let us first print hello world. Why? Because that is the starting point of a programmer's journey. So to print hello world or to print anything inside our dart console, we use a print command. So print over here like this and string is what we say uh, to write string. It has to be enclosed into a vertical into an inverted quotes, uh, just quotes. I don't know what is called inverted quotes, anything. So uh, let me just uh, type over here. Hello world and a semicolon. Okay. Hello world and semicolon. Now, if I'll hit run over here, just wait and you can see hello world will be printed over here. Hello world. So congratulate yourself to write a first program in Dart language. Okay. So we have printed hello world. So this is how a Dart pad over here works. And this is how we are going to learn about Dart language. Now there is one very nice thing about this Dart pad is that it shows us errors very nicely. So if I'll just, um, let me see if I'll just remove the semicolon at the end, you can see over here. Okay. It is showing me a red line, which means that there is something missing. I'll hit run. Okay. And you can see expected semicolon after print hello world. So it is very good in telling us the error. Now I have to give over here a semicolon. If I'll hit play or run, it will again run. Now let me, uh, let me print my name. So I will just write print. I will open the parenthesis. I will write print. I will open the parenthesis. Now let me zoom out a bit. Okay. And let me shift myself over here. I think this will be easier right now. Yeah. 
and you can see that dart is also helping us to show the error over here so instead of running the dart pad you can find a quick error over here line 3 positional arguments expected but found zero means this line 3 it is expecting something inside this parenthesis but it hasn't found anything so i found zero and again line 3 expected to find a semicolon so let me give a, a positional argument as it is saying so i will just hit print and write my name give a colon oh sorry uh, give a semicolon and i'll hit now run and you can see hello world shri okay so this is how we are going to use dart pad now if you want to explore something about dart language you can come to our uh, dart.dev and our overview you will see you will have a complete overview of the language let me shift myself again you will have a complete dart overview where you will have samples and tutorials okay then language or uh, tour you can take the tour of a language over here a basic dart program how it starts what is a void what is integer okay print so we, we are going to cover this but if you want you can take a look at this effective dart and if you want uh, community here is a nice dart community you can follow the official dart lang on twitter okay let me check you see i'm following and even you guys should follow it is tweeting about the new changes in dart languages so you will be up to date okay so follow this and you are on twitter right now so uh, as you are on twitter there is one awesome person that you must follow okay so this is my twitter handle so follow me on on twitter as well okay uh, coming back to our dart language and try dart you can try over here again so this is a dart, dart pad and if you want you can install dart from here okay get the dart sdk in our next video we will try installing the dart sdk and then we will start with variables so guys for more such videos please follow like share and and subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe subscribe hit the subscribe button right now hit it take your mouse scroll it down and hit the subscribe button like the video and then you can watch our next videos so please do it okay i will come to know when you will hit the subscribe button i get a notification on youtube over here if i'll go to youtube i will get a notification so i want that notification from you guys together we will learn dart first and then we'll go to dsa thank you guys bye bye take care